Welcome back fellow plane builders and aviation enthusiasts. I wanted to give you just a quick little video here on sourcing your materials. There are, when your plan's building an aircraft, you'll need a lot of just odds and ends materials that come in the blueprints and you know, one of the fortunate uh, scenarios we have when you buy a kit is that they include everything you need to build your airplane but when your plan's building you pretty much become your own general contractor and have to source it yourself so a question came up in one of my previous videos about where I get my metal from um, I get it from a lot of different places back here you can see these lar large uh, pieces of protective cardboard for things that are over uh, Basically anything over 25 thousandths in thickness, I can buy it locally from a company called Alro Steel. Uh, they have multiple locations throughout the country, but uh, they're right down the street from me. And they carry 6061 T6 aluminum in 25 thousandths uh, thicknesses and, and higher. So 25 thousandths, 32 thousandths, 40 thousandths, 63 thousandths and on up. So for everything from 25 thousandths up to 63 thousandths i bought locally from them i built my own crate and i put it in the back of my pickup truck and buy a 4x12 sheet of it and i can actually hand load the metal right into the crate on my in my truck and i save on their crating costs which are expensive they charge about 60 to 100 dollars to create the metal for you and put it on a skid well with my full-size pickup truck isn't really uh, designed to handle a full-size skid so I built my own little smaller version of a skid, created it myself, and then drove it home the, the 12 miles or 15 miles or so it took to get home. So I bought that and I bought the uh, one inch by one inch angle and the three quarter by three quarter inch aluminum angle from them. I also bought all the steel I needed to build my bending brake and some other construction uh, materials that I needed. So that's what I did locally. You may have other options. Um, you may even be able to find 16 thousandths and 20 thousandths locally for a reasonable price and uh and, and i highly recommend if you can buy your your materials locally uh you do that you save significantly on shipping of course and other you know costs associated with that and also if you buy in bulk you usually get a better price so if i buy one sheet of aluminum at a time locally it's more expensive than if i was to per piece than if i was to buy several sheets so uh you know do your do your research figure out how much you need uh, spend as much as you can afford at that time to buy as much as you can at that time because it you know the, the quantity discount will start to happen if they offer that so unfortunately for me i can't source things like 16 thousandths and 20 thousandths locally they just don't carry it that thin and you need a bunch of it in this airplane you need nine sheets of it of 20 thousandths to do your skins and you need five sheets of uh, 16 thousandths to do your skins and a few other structures well, my solution at that point was I could have either have gone through places like Wix Aircraft or um, Aircraft Spruce, but I found that Zenith Aircraft, the company that created my airplane, they actually have about the best market prices that you can you can get, and they will create it and ship it for you. So here's here's two crates of uh, aluminum, and they'll that's just a big roll of what I'm guessing is my 20 thousandths and I think my 16 thousandths is in the crate below but each crate I think I ordered four sheets of 20 thousandths or maybe maybe three sheets of 20 thousandths I forget what's in that package um, but each of those crates shipped for roughly about sixty dollars so it was sixty dollars in shipping maybe seventy dollars in shipping for each crate and then I had my wingtips and fiberglass parts and a few other things the hardware box that I had shipped in this regular box so my total shipping for these three crates was $180. Uh, it is a lot of money, but it, it's the, the, the breaking point for me to drive from Michigan to Missouri to go pick all this up is about $175 to $180. So um, if I ship it for $180, bucks, it does not cost me any more to do that than it would be to drive down and get it because they're about eight and a half hours away. So uh, it's just other options for you, and I'm going to show you some additional options for ordering your materials if you, if you choose not to go with Zenith. Um, some companies will actually roll it and ship it in a cardboard box. I don't recommend that, though, because it'll have a tendency to get knocked around during shipping and get kinked. So Zenith does it the right way. They crate it in a wooden crate, very robust. There's a bit of a weight penalty in the cost of shipping on that, but it is definitely the way to do it. Um, so here I'm going to pause the video and show you uh, your other options for materials ordering. But uh, 
There's other materials in the plane as well, like 4130 chrome moly steel. Uh, there's other angle sizes, other bits of aluminum, small quantities of much thicker metal. And I'm going to show you some options for ordering those things as well. So hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what I wanted to show you guys when you're ordering aluminum. Um, this is the Aircraft Spruce website, and they um, are, have very competitive prices on materials for building your airplane. Um, if you're building an aluminum airplane like mine, the Zenith Stoll CH750, you do need a lot of aluminum. So in combination with the um, ordering process that I did via Zenith Aircraft themselves, and also uh, purchasing metals locally <clears throat> for some of my thicker sheets and materials, uh, you can order from Aircraft Spruce. Aircraft Spruce will roll anything up to and including 32 thousandths, whereas Zenith will only roll up to and including 25 thousandths. So you can get it, you can get the 32 thousandths from uh, Aircraft Spruce. The key, if you're ordering from them, uh, and not to pay an astronomical amount of shipping, is to check this little box down here. So when you've added a sheet of aluminum to your cart, uh, this is a 4x12 sheet of 32 thousandths, it's in my shopping cart. The key here is to roll for ground shipping. Now if I don't roll for ground shipping, let's say I want to ship it to the Lansing area where I live, I'm going to calculate shipping here, and you can see that shipping via freight is $158.59 for a single sheet of 32 thousandths aluminum. That's astronomical, you're paying more for shipping than you are for a single sheet of aluminum. And that's because they ship it flat in a crate on a truck. Now. The key to getting that a little cheaper, of course, is checking this little box here, Roll for Ground Shipping. When you check the box, Roll for Ground Shipping, and then uh, hit Calculate Shipping again, it gives you your standard uh, shipping options. And the price doesn't go up terribly much when you start adding more and more materials. So for here, Priority Mail rolled for shipping is $100, but you can see UPS rolled for shipping is only $60. Now if I'm to add, let's say I want to add, have three sh sheets of this shipped, which is that will do the entire airplane in this thickness. Rolled shipping is now only $67. So it's a very economical way to buy your aluminum if you can't find it locally. When I buy it locally, I either roll it myself or if it's thicker than 32 thousandths, I just, I built my own crate, put it in the back of my truck and then hand load a single sheet into the crate and bring it home. But uh, that's uh, your option there for your materials on your flat sheet. Of course, Aircraft Spruce also carries things like uh, round uh, tubing and square tubing and anything else you could possibly want to build your airplane, but metals do get expensive that way. I found another economical method here on Amazon where you only need small quantities of some of the thicker stuff. So everything in 90 thousandths, uh, 125 thousandths, quarter inch, half inch, and I think three sixteenths of an inch. I actually bought all of that on Amazon and it's very economical. Free shipping on a 12x12, 12 12, I think I actually bought like a 12x36 sheet of this stuff, but it was only like $25 shipped. So check Amazon for the smaller quantities of things that you need and you can you can get free shipping. I have an Amazon Prime account, but if you meet their minimum order amount, you can get uh, decent prices on smaller quantities. And these are basically just cutoffs that nobody else wants. And some of their online vendors are offering up the cutoff pieces for cheap to blow them out. And that's what they do. And it worked out fantastically for me. So that's in it in a nutshell on where to order your metals. I'll put some links in the comments below and in the description below for you to you know, go right to these places to check out your metal prices and see what you can do. But uh, again, order from Zenith, order from Aircraft Spruce, order from Wix Aircraft, and uh, Amazon is a good place to check as well. And there are other vendors as well. And then, of course, you may have local options like I do here. So good luck with your projects and your airplanes. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.